Hey guys, so in this video I'm trying to, or I will go ahead and try to demonstrate how this whole OBS uh, scenes feature will work. So now we have a Streamlabs OBS fired up already, and I've got a couple different uh, scenes in it. And as you can see, if you change the scene, it will, well, this is not set it up right yet, but for example, the intermission scene will switch to another, well, output, so to speak. And I, ha I have this uh, OBS scene switcher thing already working, which I started. This is, this is only the development version, but it's demonstrable that it's, it's going to work. So it is already communicating with this Streamlabs OBS instance here. And if, yeah, as you can see, if I, can, if I change here this scene, it get also changed in uh, the, um, the Streamlabs OBS program. So uh, basically, what I at, at this part you can see that it is intercommunicating, and if I now start changing the actual windows, because that was my first point in order to implement this whole thing, uh, I have a certain rig axis set up in this OBS scene switcher program uh, that will follow your windows ti window titles actually, and if it recognizes a certain text in that window title, which you set up a search sync for, it will change the uh, up appropriate uh, scene. So if, for example, I open up this one, uh, this is one where I have a sublime text uh, somewhere in the window title, which is uh, this sublime text instance in the background. And if I change that, it should automatically change to this uh, scene in, in uh, Streamlabs OBS. So let's go ahead and show this. Uh, for example, I change to terminal right now, and if here in the background I change to uh, Sublime Text, you can see that it will instantly switch to Sublime Text, the, the Sublime Text um, scene. So let me click on here, and it already changed it changed there. And I also have it set up with the Chrome Canary, and if I change to Chrome Canary here in the background, it will also change to Chrome Canary. I also have a DevTools setup, and if I uh, clip, uh, click on that, it will also change to that. As, as you can see, uh, the uh, scene is also changed in Freemaps OBS. There is one more functionality I added to this program at this point. There is a so-called, uh, well, I, I call this intermission scene, but you, you call it whatever you want. If you click on this, as you can see, there is a checkbox. Uh, which tells you if you arrive to this scene, then it will stop changing automatically. So you will have to uh, change the scene manually in order to start switching again. So as, as, now can, as you can see now, I am on the intermission scene, and I click on Sublime Text right now, and the scene does not get changed because of this certain setup. And also, there is one more thing. If you rename uh, the scene, for example, this one here, it all automatically gets changed in the Streamlabs OBS feature. So hopefully I could demonstrate to you guys that this whole thing is working and uh, I'm working on the web shop part of it and it will be reachable hopefully within a month. So thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to your opinions and responses. Bye-bye.